Greetings, Joseph Kursky here with you to talk about the following. Don't camp out in one GIS campground forever. Don't camp out in one GIS campground forever. When we are using Geographic Information Systems, or GIS, in education, we are helping students understand how the Earth works. There are many ways in which to use GIS. Indeed, GIS is a system and there is no single pathway to its use in education or in any other field such as transportation, natural resources, public safety, human health, or any other. But I want to encourage you as educators that once you get comfortable with a certain segment, tool set, data set, or problem, don't just camp there and stay there for years. Rather, keep moving forward. You will do yourself and your students a big favor. You will keep growing in your own professional development with GIS and your students will be better equipped to make decisions using GIS and the geographic perspective in the future. We are using a technology, geographic information systems, that is rapidly evolving, but that is not the reason to sit still and camp, camp out in one area or in a set of tools with GIS. The reason is that there is so much that you can do with GIS in education. Not that more is always better, but make sure that you're using some of the key things that GIS offers in education. Now, what do I consider to be these key things? This list may change somewhat in the future, but consider the following. Number one, I always want students to get out into the field. How many videos do I have on my channel about getting out into the field? I've got dozens, hundreds maybe. And investigate their campus, their community, their region with geotechnologies. Collect data with Survey123, collector for ArcGIS, snap to map, or even an old school clipboard and a pencil. But the point is, collect data in the field. Number two, map your field work and other data about our world, such as population change, natural hazards, watersheds, energy consumption and generation, trade networks, or weather or geologic hazards in your GIS such as ArcGIS Pro, ArcGIS Desktop, or ArcGIS Online, and study it. What patterns, trends, and relationships do you, do you observe or notice? So mapping data is really, really key and important. Okay, don't just collect data. Map it. Understand it. Make sense of it. Ask questions about it. Number three, use web mapping applications, such as story maps so that you and your students are communicating the results of your research with multimedia, shareable, embeddable maps. For example, I've been working with a major university with, that was attracted to story maps as their first foray into mapping and geotechnologies. I was very glad to see some wonderful ways that they use story maps to understand neighborhoods, language, and change in their city. But I also told them about the larger tech ecosystem that story maps are a part. And we are now starting to talk about spatial analysis, thematic mapping, field data collection, and more at scales beyond their own city. In other words, I said, I'm glad that you're using story maps, but in a year from now, I hope, I hope you're still using story maps, but also using more than story maps. In other words, tapping into the richness that is GIS. On the other hand, I did not say, well, you can't start GIS and spatial analysis with story maps. You have to start over here with GIS 101. No, I went with what they're interested in, which was web mapping story maps. And I used that as a springboard for, you know what, there's other things in here that you might be intrigued and you might be able to do teaching and uh, research better with. So I went with their interests, but I also encouraged them to move forward. Now folks, GIS can enhance your curriculum in many ways. Whether that curriculum is biology, geography, earth science, environmental studies, mathematics, language arts, history, sociology, business management, marketing, and so much more. It is also a technology that merits its own program of study, geographic information science. So the teaching with GIS is important and the teaching about GIS is also important. GIS is also a technology that many universities offer. They offer GIS, GI science, set of courses, a certificate, a bachelor's degree, a master's degree, a PhD program in GIS. So explore the possibilities and beware of the temptation to camp out in any one section of GIS. Keep moving forward. Thanks.